My name is Francis Fantino. To my left, we got Yankees. Remember him, Mike Gallego. Mike. Welcome back to New York. How you doing? I'm doing great. It's always uh, a great time to come back to New York. Uh, I really enjoyed my time here. Actually, I didn't know what being in the big leagues was until I put on the pinstripes. That's what they say. Now, Mike, listen, you know, you, you're a life man, lifetime baseball player, man. This, this is your life, practically. Are you in favor of that buzzer and the laptop, the new system in there? You know, you got you to... Gotta, uh, you got to change to the, you know, the, the things that are going on in life. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that I don't completely believe in. Um, and to be honest with you, when we first started the shift, I was completely against it. Um, but as the years have gone by, I've learned to understand it, the analytics more, more uh, than, I, than I have in the past. And uh, uh, there's a lot of good information that is given to us, you know. Um, but I still believe there's, it's got to be 50-50. You know, there's still... You know, you got to trust your eyes. You got to trust the player. You got to trust their ideas and thoughts too, as well as the analytics side of things. So, um, you know, they they uh, the infielders, I think, sometimes depend on you know the positioning cards that they get. You see everyone in their back pocket. But what I like with our guys here, I said, look, you know, these are suggestions. You know, use them as a suggestion. But I still want you to watch the swing. I want you to watch the pitch. And if you see something different, hey, it's your game. I trust your instincts and I trust your thoughts. And so our guys kind of a uh, combination of that. Do you think that we're implementing too much information on these ball players when in reality, the game of baseball is simple. You hit the ball. Hey, oh, sorry. hey that's all right. <laughs> Josh right? Donaldson. You smell like chocolate. You I am. Chocolate in here. All right. All right yeah. How are you, buddy? What are you guys doing? What kind of we're interview? just kind of having a little interview. We're, we're talking, talking about, about Josh the, Donaldson. The buzzer and stuff like that. The new technology on the, uh, the buzzer. The buzzer, that stuff. Right? You, you know, know him. The buzzer. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> He's old school. Hey, did I ever used to position you? No. No. Never. See? Never. If you asked me, was I there for you? Yeah. If I, if you yeah. asked. You know, he, he's he a always student told me it was my career. <laughs> You're a student of the game, sure, sure. You play where you want. Wait. Right. Trust your eyes. Yeah. Trust the swing. Let's go. Yeah. Does it sometimes bother you that there's so much information in, in, given to you that in the game? You just got to decipher whatever it is that you want to use. Mm. You know the old saying, you throw all the on the wall yeah. and see what sticks? sticks. So that's what you got to use with these guys. There's a lot of information. It's good. I agree. It's good. Yeah. Too much information for certain guys. I couldn't give yeah. him too much information because yeah. then we completely yeah. lose him. You know? Smart. We got to keep it real. Kind of dumbed it down a little yeah. bit sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's one of the, you know what, Josh is one of the, the true sluggers, man. When Josh comes uh, in, there's, there's no denying he's coming up man. to hit. He could hit a little bit. No, he could, this guy, he could hey, hit. And, and, hey, tell him, though, the story. Tell, hey, I'm gonna tell him. You think it's hard to hit 300? <laughs> ask him. I always ask these guys. You guys think it's tough to hit 300 in the big leagues, right? Do you think it's tough to hit 300 in the big leagues? Yeah, but not as tough as. You think that's that's not tough? Try hitting 210 and staying in it for 13 years. There you that's go. tough to do. Yeah, yeah. and you being good at it. You better get the Yankees. Yeah. <laughs> or playing for Billy Martin. Hey, oh, yeah. man. That's another one. Yeah. No, yeah. you don't want to do that. I don't we're, think we're getting benched in the first inning <laughs> when the base is loaded. In that's the starting tough. lineup. That's <laughs> tough. <laughs> See, he remembers all my, he's not that dumb, he remembers got, a good lot of, all, of all my stories. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, what, what's amazing, what I want to ask you is, how, what do you think Billy Martin would have handled it, the laptop in the dugout, and all that knowledge, and that buzzer and all that stuff when he was pulling the pitches? I'll tell you what, Billy Martin was the laptop. He was the, he was the guy, he was so smart, it was incredible. But no, you're right. You're, you're exactly right. What you think Billy Martin would have done with those laptops <laughs> is exactly what he would have done. Josh, you know, back in the day, there was a guy named Charlie Lau, yeah. Art of Hitting. Yeah. You know, and we did, did you study his... Uh, Charlie Lau, no, I don't know. What did you, I can't read it. <laughs> but, <laughs> I, I, I tried it. I tried that. A lot of their hitting, like, we, we That's, see, that, that see, didn't work. I see his hitting approach. And it's almost identical, like it was his approach to hitting. Right. So he had a lot. He has a lot here, Charlie Lawler. Yeah. A lot of the finish. Um, but when you start talking about his weight shaft and his legs and his, it, it's it's not Charlie Lawler. No, it's Josh Donaldson. Yeah, there you go. It's a Josh Donaldson theory. Hey, Mr. Listen, like I told you last year, man, we enjoyed watching you hit, brother. We enjoyed watching you hit, and you're one of the sluggers, man. Here you go. Man. He's the best too. My guy is the best. The best. The best. Whatever it is, but he's the, the best. best. We don't the know best. what it is. No, it's just the best. Yep. Now, the difference between, let's say, Not Billy and, and Joe Mann, what do you think would have been? 
Oh my God, Joe Madden and Billy Martin? The difference is because they both have the same approach. They want to win, but I'm sure there's a lot of similarities. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of similarities. Um, Joe's gonna drink a little bit more wine. <laughs> Joe's gonna drink a lot, well, a little more wine, but Billy drank another liquid. I'm sure, you know. Um, but these guys, they don't, they never miss a pitch. Most managers don't miss a pitch, but Joe looks like he's having fun. Billy Martin did never look like he had fun. But I'm sure, you know, that was his life, and he, they each handled it differently. And, and Joe is really good with the, with the player. He's a player's manager. Billy Martin was a, just a strict manager, and you knew you were going to have a chance to win every single year with him. Same with Joe, but in a different way. Now, Josh, you know, they talk about a lot of the good, the good hitters. They talk about that when things are going good, the game slows down. And, you know, I'm sure you've always talked about, I heard you one time talking, well, you got to, these players, when things are going bad, the game, they have to simplify the game. Does it really slow down? Can you really do see what's coming and you say, man, I got this face, I got it. You know, it, your thought process on you when you're going good? Yeah, for sure. The game definitely slows down for the better players, no doubt. You think, you think Mike Trout feels the same as, you know, the 25th man on the roster like Mike Gallego when he played? <laughs> the game definitely was faster for Gags than it was for Mike Trout. But it's, it's all ability process, all that stuff. Plays but hitting too. wide, does it slow down yeah. for you? Do you, you know more or less like, wow, yeah. Yeah. That, that is amazing. But see, these guys, these offensive players, when the things slow down, they're, you, the first thing you ask them is, hey man, what are you doing differently at the plate? What's going on? And most of the guys go, you know what, I don't know, but I see the ball, it looks like a beach ball coming at me right now. So that's how they slow down. That ball comes in there. And that's what I used to say on defense. I never said that offensively, but I always used to say it on defense. I gotta slow the ball down. And, and that's all about visual and confidence. And once you have the kid, no matter what level you're at, if you have confidence, you're gonna be at the next level, especially in the major league. Listen, I'm gonna let you go, because I know you got a lot of talk to about, man. Yeah, Let's yeah. see Josh, man. Hey, Get back soon, He's brother. He's the best. We, we, the best. We enjoy watching you play, brother, more than what you know, man. We enjoy it. Right, be safe. Good seeing you.